There is a special course in the Master's in Writing Studies program at Kane University. The course is called Network Narratives, also known as NetNAR. This open network course is the brainchild of two friends and colleagues, Mia Zamora and Alan Levine. NetNAR covers issues of digital citizenship, the attention economy, the algorithm, and data surveillance. Now we've been hit with a global pandemic, a crisis that has upended our lives. As we struggle, we realize that we must rely even more heavily on the very technologies we are tasked to scrutinize and critique. But one thing remains clear. Now, more than ever, data literacy is a key factor in a collective future. Do you all accept these onerous terms of service? Mm, I'm not sure. Who's using my data and for what reasons? Do you understand the terms of service agreements that you agreed to when loading new apps? And they're telling me they could change the terms of services at any time? This is what I think of your terms of services. Can I ever get all my stuff deleted? How would I know if my data trace was truly deleted? Can you think of one app on your phone? What does data even look like? And can you show me? Where is it? Where do I find it on this thing? If they're not watching me via a camera, then how do they know me? <laughs> what is personal data in an age where data is everything but personal? Enter the Data Detox Kit. Everyday steps you can take to control your digital privacy, security, and well-being in ways that feel right to you. Control your smartphone data with five steps to increase your online privacy. Shift your settings with these simple tips to secure your data now. And escape the defaults. These are easy techniques to enhance your digital well-being. 